Okay, guys, uh, it's a Saturday before Christmas, and I just came into the shop. I just laid this oil dry down, and um, what I walked into here is uh, oil puddling right here at my burner. That's supposed to be closed. Um, so I threw some oil dry down and started raking it up, and I just pulled the two nuts off the burner door. This is a Fire Lake burner, best oil waste oil burner ever made and um it's a columbia boiler with a swing open door i just wanted to show you what happens here so this is a product of synthetic oil we didn't have this five years ago but now today we call it the volcano it's normally a lot prettier than this more organized um a big buildup gets right in front of the flame and then it causes chaos to the flame if you look here none of that stuff there belongs I'm going to knock it off for you so you can check it out. I'm going to use a wrench I just used to take the nuts off the door. You can see it's still glowing because I just opened the door. I'm getting some nice heat off it. What happens with synthetic is you get this stuff growing in the front of it. And it will eventually clog your retention head. And uh, your electrodes. So you knock that stuff off and then you take a shovel and you go in there and you get the stuff to build up in the boiler itself and that's it and of course because it's a fire lake it was still running in fact if uh, if you bear with me here i'll get that ash pulled out of there close the door and i'll fire it right away for you so you know i ain't pulling your leg fire lake burners are designed just incredible I always say in my when I'm talking about fire lake furnaces the reason they're so great and the reason they last 30 40 years is they're born great they were born great same burner today same design from the 80s I mean is somebody joking with me I just had somebody call me yesterday and bought a bunch of parts from me and their furnace was from 1989 and it was a horizon that's like the newer model and it was a 1989 hundred dollars worth of parts he's good for another season next that's how we roll i see now land air's even advertising oh now we can burn synthetic oil our burners burn synthetic oil if you remember, I said 1989. In 89, I don't believe there was such a thing as synthetic oil. But if there would have been, Fire Lake would have been cruising right through it. So I'm going to knock this ash out of the way. Columbia Boilers put a... Uh, hinge on their door which is super sweet close her up put a washer and a nut on it and we'll fire it up again i will put the other washer and nut on i'm just doing this so i can finish up the video for you okay got the nut on here we go Lake is the real deal, and Columbia makes a nice boiler. Pretty, pretty simple to service. You pull that door off, scrape out all your tubes. On the back side, it's just a big panel. It's like I don't know, six, eight, ten, twelve, twelve nuts and washers that comes off. All your junks in there that you push through from the front. The front's only about a half a door. And uh, like I said, you push push your junk all the way back through with brushes, pull that whole door off, which goes basically from the floor to the top of it. And that's the end of that. So there you go. Once again, Fire Lake makes it simple, easy, and that's a repair.